The CDC and health officials around the country are working to decide who will get the COVID-19 vaccine first. Millions of doses could be given before Christmas, according to a federal document obtained by CBS News. December 15th has been marked as a date for states to start receiving the Pfizer vaccine. The Moderna vaccine would first become available a week later. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield looks at the latest information on the vaccine as some question the speed and accuracy of the vaccination creation process. It's been a long nine months for this North Minneapolis family. They've been learning remotely and distancing, but earlier this fall, it happened. So COVID hit your house. It did. It did. Her six-year-old daughter got COVID from eating across the table from someone who unknowingly had it. Her son, who was further down the table, didn't get it. That six feet of proximity, that closeness is real. Um, you... You can take all the precautions, you can come in wearing masks, but when you're sitting down having a meal, that does make a difference. Her daughter recovered and the rest of the family never got it. Meanwhile, she's been following the vaccine news closely, but cautiously. Would you and your family get the vaccine? Not right away. Um, I'm a firm believer that things have to go through trials and tests for quite some time. With three vaccines in the works, the Department of Health addressed that shared hesitation. COVID-19 vaccine development was accelerated, but it was accelerated in ways that did not impact the important safety steps that we expect to happen for all vaccines. Ayersman says federal funding helped speed things up and the fact that they held trials simultaneously, not in succession. We've been talking about the light at the end of the tunnel. It's there and it's getting closer all the time but we do have to stay the course a bit longer before we reach it. And the Leonards, who are looking at a quiet family Christmas, plan to do just that. Minnesotans, we have to, we have to just accept that we have to adapt. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. A panel of experts with the CDC held a meeting today to decide who would get a vaccine first. They strongly support giving it to health care workers and long-term care residents. The Minnesota Department of Health said today that children will be the last to get the vaccine, but predict that vaccines for kids will be available in a matter of months.